This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version of the course. I'm on level 19, Manic Munchkins. Goals. Break open the chest. Stay alive. Break open a chest while being attacked by groups of munchkins and certain particularly angry munchkins. Okay? If condition 1, this only happens if condition 1 is true. Right, so we're asking the computer a question. If condition 1, whatever condition 1 is, if that is true, do this code. L, ooh, we have else if. Else if this is true, right? So EL if means else if. So if condition 1 is, is there a munchkin? And the computer says, nope, no munchkin. So the computer would return false. It will then drop to our else if. And maybe this says, is there a chest? And if the computer says, yep, there's a chest, we run this code. If the computer says false, we can then have an else statement that says, okay, go back to this spot. And that will run even if both of these are false. Okay, let's see what we're doing. All right. So we have some comments here. Comments are for humans, not for the computer. So let's see. Uh, first priority is to cleave if it's ready. Okay, so we need to check if space uh, hero dot where is it hero oh is it not gonna oh nope there we go so if hero is ready cleave so we're asking hey is the hero ready to cleave and then we need a colon and then anything indented is what's going to run if the computer says yep hero is ready to cleave so if the computer says true on this then we will cleave so we need to tell the hero to cleave there we are Else if the distance is less than 5, so if the computer says nope, oh, wait, oh, they already had the if for cleave, whoops, got to get rid of this line, there we are, they already had this if, if cleave is ready, cleave, else if, so if the computer says no, cleave's not ready, it will then drop to this and check this, so else if distance less than 5, is the distance less than 5 computer? If the computer checks and says yes, well then we want to attack. And we're going to attack this variable, enemy, because our, our here I looked around, found the closest enemy, and gave them the name enemy. And then otherwise, break, try to break the chest. Use the name of the chest to attack it. The name of the chest is chest. So attack. And then chest needs to be capitalized. So what's going on here? Oh, I just indented too much, right? Because that's indention is how the computer knows it's part of the if. So first, the computer checks if cleave is ready. If the computer says true, cleave is ready. Our hero is going to cleave. If it, the computer says false, it's not ready. Then it says, well, else if distance less than five. If the distance to the enemy is less than five, then we're going to go ahead and attack that enemy. Okay. So if the computer checks the distance and says, yep, it's less than five, that's true. Then we'll do this code. If this is false, it goes down to here, checks this, this is false. So it skips the code inside. Then it runs the else statement. It only runs the else statement if both these things are false. Once it runs the else statement or the else if or the if, it would drop down to the bottom of all this, it else if and else. And then there's no code beneath it, so it goes back to the top of the loop. Let's see if we got it. Um, awesome. We did it. Great. So this is that code that worked for me. I'm going to zoom out. Great, let's keep going.